You probably heard the phrase, ready, aim, fire. And you probably also have heard someone twist that around to change it to ready, fire, aim, which is one of the ways that we're encouraged to think about our efforts in life. You fire before you aim. But have you ever thought why that makes sense? Welcome to Everyday A New Thought. I'm Thor Chagra. And today I want to talk about ready, aim, fire, and whether it makes more sense to think about it as ready, fire, aim. Today, I'm going to share an anecdote that Jack Canfield talks about in his book, The Success Principles. And he talks about this idea of ready, fire, aim. He says that too often people spend all their time aiming, in other words, thinking about doing something and never firing, never doing. If you're a perfectionist like I can identify with, this may resonate with you. You can spend so much time aiming at something, thinking about it, planning it, wanting it to be perfect, wanting to really hit that bullseye that you don't end up firing. You don't end up doing the thing that will lead to actions. Canfield offers what I think is a great example of a way to think about this. And he's talking about if you're firing, say, at a target practice range, and rather than spending all of your time aiming for that one little bullseye in the center, not firing your shot. He says, what if you instead fire your shot, then you go to see where did the little bullet, where did the BB land? And then based on that, you adjust. So if your goal is to hit right in the middle of that target, maybe you say, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm a little bit lower than it, so I'll raise my pistol up. Same way with your, if you're playing darts, you throw the, you don't sit there and think about forever trying to hit the center of the dart. You throw it and you go, okay, I, I landed too low. So therefore I need to throw it more deliberately. You're spending time actually doing so that when it comes to the, you're learning how to do it better by actually taking action, by having something to correct. Same way with writing. Here's another example. I can stare at a blank page for my novel, and then I can aim for the perfect set of words on that page. But if I don't take action, am I going to have anything on the page? No. Instead, what if I take action? What if I fire? I put words on the page. I spew out that first draft, which is essentially that fire part then I can go back in and I can aim, meaning I can change things. I can adjust things. Look at your own life and ask, is there some place where you've spent too much time aiming and not enough time firing? If so, maybe it's time to change it to ready, fire, aim. Thanks so much for watching the show today. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the subscribe button. That way you'll receive new episodes daily. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching.